People in one San Francisco neighborhood are not at all calm over two so-called traffic calming circles. You see it right there. Uh, they've gone up on Euclid Street. They are meant to enhance safety, but people there say they've seen opposite results. ABC 7's Leanne Melendez is live tonight from the Laurel Heights neighborhood with a story that you'll see only on 7. Leanne? Well, you know how traffic is in this city, so people are taking Euclid quite often in order to avoid Geary in that direction and California in the other direction. Again, traffic has increased on this street, but most neighbors here don't like the concrete solution behind me. They're killing a fly with a sledgehammer. Lynn Jimenez, a neighbor, is referring to the circular structure made of concrete, located smack in the middle of Euclid Street in Laurel Heights. Not to be confused with a roundabout, the city is instead calling it a traffic calming circle. Many here call it trouble. Traffic now has to encroach on the bicycle lane to get around this thing and to get through the intersection. And when you're riding a bicycle up the street, which I often do, um, there's a competition for space. The main complaint is that most drivers don't realize they must first come to a four-way stop, something your typical roundabout doesn't have. One after another, drivers were rolling through the stop sign. And near misses are not uncommon. Really, I have a, have a nearly three-year-old son who likes to ride his scooter, and I like it when cars stop. So have you guys complained? Um, just amongst ourselves. We haven't done anything official. Why bother? The San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency says, in fact, it was neighbors who wanted something done about cars speeding through here. It was at this precise intersection that in 2015, a two-year-old was critically injured when a car hit her stroller. That was then Supervisor Mark Farrell's district. It's changing the status quo. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's the right answer at the end of the day. What they should do is rip it out, put a stoplight or multiple stop signs or flashing lights like they have in front of Civic Center. What's wrong with putting flashing lights on the intersection? SFMTA says it will continue to monitor its impact on the neighborhood. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.